Hi, I'm Mandy from the museum. Today for our little learners, I have something very old to show you that was used on the steam trains a long time ago. Listen to the clues in the poem to see if you can guess what it is. I was never used during the day, only at night to show the way. Red or green, I could glow to tell the driver to stop or go. The guard would hold me outside the train door, but that was so long ago and I'm not used anymore. Did you guess what it is? It's a guard's lantern. Guard's lanterns like this were used a really long time ago on the steam trains. It was a special lantern that was used by the train guard who travelled in the very last carriage of a steam train, a bit like this one. One of the jobs of the train guard was to let the driver know if it was okay for the train to leave the station. But the driver was right at the very front of the train and the guard was here at the back and they didn't have phones in those days. So at night time, the guard would use a lantern like this to signal to the driver. He would light the lantern with a flame and a bit of oil because they didn't have batteries back in those days. It would then be a bit like a torch and the guard could use it to see things. On the top is this bed of metal that he could turn. Inside, it would move a piece of glass. So a green piece of glass would come in front and the light would glow green. He could move it again to move a red piece of glass in front and the light would be red. The guard could hold this outside the door of the train and the driver would see it. If the light was green, that meant go. If it was red, what do you think that meant? Of course, stop or don't go. Would you like to make some coloured lights at home? All you need is a torch and something that's colourful but see-through. You can use cellophane like I'm using or even plastic paddles or glasses of water with food colouring in it. Turn your torch on and shine it at a wall and you can hold different colours of paper in front. What colours are you making on the wall? Maybe you could put a few different colours together and see what new colours you can come up with. Thank you for joining me today to learn about guards lanterns. See you next time. Bye for now.